song has been around as long as it has and it's not in our song books here. Take my hand, 
Precious Lord, and lead me home. I told y'all what it meant. It sounded a lot better than my truck, too. I'm going to take his with me. Like I said, the title of my sermon is Can't Give Up. I mean, he's been through stuff. Amen. I mean, really, really, really been through stuff. Amen. How many still holding on? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, I could hit all of the high notes, everything in my truck. So I'm <laughs> Well, I'm asking, what was that for? I said, I'm going to use it tonight, and I might put it in my truck. <laughs> Can't give up. <laughs> I heard my grandmother say, I lived with the Lord so many years, never found a place to turn around. <coughs> I wouldn't tell her if she'd tell a story. <laughs> I've got a few teeth missing and wasn't from telling her that. But I can't hardly believe, Sister Martha, I've found time. I've seen places. You know, the, and I've said this before, the, the devil, he'll, Brother Shane, he'll scoop out a big wide place in the road. You know, if you go in, if you, in the, you ever been in the mountains and they have that place on the side, you know, if you're getting going too fast, got that place pull over and it'll stop you. That's the devil. You know, when you get when God gets to working on you and you get to go and you get to go and and, and the devil's like, you know, I gotta do something. I gotta slow them down. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, all of a sudden you got in your mind to say, I'm going too fast. God can't even keep up as fast as I'm going, God can't keep up with me. So the devil said, Okay, here we go. He just comes out here and he scoops that little place in the road, puts a big sandbar, and there you go. There's your place to stop. But Rich, if we stay there. If we stay there, he wins. If we stay there, we get stagnant. I, I, I have pulled off. I have pulled off on inside places. So you're saying, and, and if you stay there, I've stayed there too long. But thanks be to God, he kept on dealing. He kept on dealing. And I finally got it in reverse and four-wheel drive and backed it up off the sandbar and got back on the road where he wanted me. Right. You know, it ain't, it's, it's not so much the sin of pulling off the road and stopping. We all get sidetracked. We all get stopped from time to time. But if we just stay there and wallow where we're at, that's where the sin begins. If we just keep on, then we get to the woe is me. And I've been tired. I've been weary. I've been worn. I've been used and I've been abused, but God is still on the throne. Yes, right. 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 Ephesians 6 and 13, 6, 6 chapter and 13 verse. I've, been down there. I've read, Brother Charles, I've read this scripture time and time again. I'm sure I preach from it. And I've heard other ministers preach from it, and, and I think we leave off, we leave off the main important. Part. Yeah. See, he's already read it, so he knows what I've been leaving off. I love my pastor. It says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore. And that's where we stop. Right. How many times have you heard a preacher say, When you've done all you can do to stand, just stand? That's right. Sister, that means when I've done all I know to do, God, I've done it all here. I'm going to button my coat. I'm going to look all proper. And I'm going to stand. I ain't going to accomplish anything. If I just stand, I might as well be off on the side of the road to get the sandbar. 
If I'm just going to stand, I'm going to get stagnant. I can't accomplish anything God has for me to do. Just stand it. We, and I've heard it, pre and I said, I'm, I'm sure I've preached it some way. When you've done all you can do to stand, just stand. Man, it makes you feel so good. Okay, God, I'm going to stand. I heard a preacher about standing on the promises. Some of us are sitting on the premises instead of standing on the promises. It says, stand, therefore, having your loins girded about with truth and having the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Amen. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to stand, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. If we can stand, if we can stand on the Word of God, then He'll tell us what to do. Right. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watching therefore unto all perseverance and supplication for all saints. I can't give up. I, since today I know what it's like to run. I know what it's like to run from God. It ain't no fun. It seems fun for a little while. I mean, the word, you know, the word tells us that. There's, there's, there is pleasure in sin for a season. Sooner or later, it catches up. You know, when you when you plant a seed in the ground, oh, there comes there's there's a little point in time that you don't do nothing with it. That's the time that I like. I said when I was, when I got grown up, I'll never work the garden again. And my daddy has to get out there and break his leg just for time to tee on hoe, so I had to work the garden. That's when you start seeing they, they work involved. You can't just stand. They got to be, that, see, there's, a, there's a time of pleasure. You know, when you get it planted, it comes up and it all looks pretty. And one of, the, one of my greatest things I had to deal with when I was a kid, when we would uh, hoe cotton, my granddaddy would lay it by. And a bunch of y'all don't know what that means. <laughs> and that means when we got, when we hoed it that time, we were done. <laughs> There's pleasure in sin for a season. But we gotta we gotta stand on the word of God. We got we can't we can't just we can't just stand. We got we got to have the whole armor of God. Right. We got to have that shield of faith. We got to have our feet shod with preparation of the gospel. Amen. Yeah. And we gotta have faith. You know it's one of the hardest things to do is is to believe when everything around you is crumbling down. Right. Just while I preach and teach and talk, and, and I told you this morning, I had my message would be silly and serious. And I never know when God gives a message how serious it can be. Right. When I'm serious about this, I can't give up. Amen. Right. You know, Amen. God brought me. I'm going to drive a little bit now. God brought me too far to turn around. Mm -hmm. He brought me too far, Brother Johnny, even to pull off in that little side road where I've been on many occasions. He, he brought me too far to turn my back on Him. God's been through it, and I can't give up. I won't give up. I, I, I've been I've been a quitter before. I walked away from God years ago. And there ain't nothing. Oh, I mean, you can help. There's, there's some fun out there. But there's a lot of sleepless nights. I don't know if anybody else ever be. When, when my wife would bring the kids to church on Sunday nights especially, I'd get home. I'd been to the lake or <coughs> just wherever, anywhere before I should have been. And Go down to the bathroom and take a bath, and it just felt so cold. I mean, being in the middle of summertime, it just felt cold. And I knew, I knew what it was. I said, there'd be a run. But I can't give up. I mean, if I, if I was to give up now, 
I can't give the devil that satisfaction. He would love. You know, I read scripture last time I preached. He you know, wants to sift you to wheat. He wants to separate you from the good. He wants to separate you from the church, mm -hmm. from my God. I refuse. So I refuse to give up. Right. Yeah. I've come too far to give up. And, and <clears throat> I wish I could have done the song justice because it made it just... I, I, I drove around and I was hoping it was smooth. I was hoping it'd come back on again. I, I'm not going to pay the $9.99 for the radio station to replay it. But it'll come back on again. I'm going to sing it again. But my God is good. Right. He's led me through the storm. But Richie asked me how to go, but I could sing. And, I, and he will try that again, sis. Because it's time to praise him in the storm. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's ever been a time to praise him, it's today. Mm -hmm. I told him I preached the funeral here a while back, and I told him the Bible says today is the day of salvation. But we're going to praise him. Today's the day for praise him. And when they put me in the casket, I can't praise him. I want all my praises to go ahead of me. You know, I, I, I don't want nothing trailing behind me, but Shane. I want, I want all my sins. I want everything blotted out. I want everything to go my head. And uh, preacher preached the funeral today. He, and he's a little Baptist church. And I was just going to a Pentecostal church. He preached just like Bill Charles about the white throne judgment and and I, thought, I was thinking, well, I don't know where he's going with this, but he said, those that are ready, when he comes, we're not going to be judged as far as getting to heaven. We're going to be judged as far as what we've done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's when we figure out how big our crown is going to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the judgment, we already know. You know, I, 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 wanna, I used to say, I just want to hear him say, well done. I just want to, I just want to make it. Amen. And that's great just to make it, but I want to do more than just make it. Come on, right. Right. Yeah. All right. Because I want to make a difference. Amen. I want to make a difference in somebody. Because I'm not going to do that by myself. Right. I'd love to look around <coughs> and see somebody that I made a difference in. Right. And I can't make a difference if I give up. That's right. Can't give up. Is it okay if we sing that song again? Come on, great. Come on.